Okay, what we're doing today is we're going to check our left quad, our right quad, and our center adjustments on the star quadder. That's what this particular machine is equipped with. So what I want to do to start that is I want to drop some mats. I want a capital zero on the left. I'm going to put three M spaces. I'm going to put a capital I. Three more M spaces. And another capital zero. What this does is when I go to one side, the capital zero should be even with the line, with the side. I go to the other side, it should be even on that side. And when I do center, I'm going to do two slugs and then put them back to back and the eyes should be directly across from each other. They should be centered. So first thing I'm going to do is cast our slugs. I'm going to set it to quad right. So we're going to do our quad right slug. And I put this on recast so I can just recast the same line. Now I'm going to put it on quad center and I'm going to do two slugs. So I have to push this button over here to make it send the quad signal on this particular machine. On center. Push the clutch. I have to push my button again to do the second center. Pop my clutch. Then I'm going to put it on quad left and push my button again so it gets quad left. Now at this point I should be through with my mats if everything's okay. But I'm going to leave them in here just in case it's not. So what we have, this is our quad left and the zero is flush with the left side so it's okay on this particular machine. I take my two center slugs, I turn them back to back, make them even, and the cap eye lines up right in the middle so the center is okay on this particular machine. And then I take the one that I sent quite right and it's also not hanging off on the edge. So that means the adjustments on this machine are spot on. They're right where they need to be. So, if they were not correct, then what I would do is turn the machine off, push the clutch in, I would open my vice frame, and the adjustment for the quad right is right here. There's a nut and a screw and you turn this in or out, that's where this jaw banks. So when you're pushing it quite right, you can move this jaw in a little bit or out a little bit by making the adjustment on this particular side. Now, if it was a quad center adjustment, I would have to close this up. I want to turn my jaws to 27 picas. So I turn it in. 27. I open my vice frame back up and the adjustment for that is right here. There's a little turnbuckle that you take a little pin wrench. You have to loosen a set screw right here and then you take a little pin wrench and you turn this in or out to get your center adjustment. The reason you put it over to 27 picas is so you can get to this set screw otherwise it's hidden behind the jaw so that's if the center was off you would make this adjustment right here now the left adjustment is made behind this plate so we're going to take this plate off
for us. And behind this plate, there's a shaft right in here with a set with a slot in the end of it. That's what this jaw banks against. So to get to it, you take the screws out of this cover on the side. And that screws longer than it needs to be. There we go. That covers this rack and protects this rack is what this cover does. And to get to that screw, you reach right in through the end and you can get your screw into the end of the shaft and you can adjust this screw in or out depending on which way you need to go with it. That's the adjustment for the left-hand side. And that's all there is to adjusting the left, right, and center on your star quarter. And then you put everything back together when you're done. Thank you.